Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Well guys, we're still working on this shaft here with the uh, Acme threads and I've already got the, the right hand side done uh, with the right hand Acme threads, both internal and external. And now we got to work on the other side. This side's got to be left hand threads, opposite threads of the ones we've already cut. And uh, we're going to start by, again by making the nut uh, with the internal threads and then we'll thread the shaft. And again, this will be left hand threading this time. So let's go over here and get started. We we're out at the museum on the uh, Lodge and Shipley lathe. We're going to do this project. And uh, so basically the same process we did on my LeBlanc lathe at home. I've got my little brass nut here uh, that we're going to be turning. And we'll get this uh, chucked up in here, face it off, drill a hole in it, uh, and get it prepared for threading. All right, so we're going to come over here and um, touch off. And face this side off over here. Got a lot of run out in it, it's going to take several passes to get this done. That's got it. I'm going to go ahead and flip this part around. We'll face off the other side and uh, get it to the proper thickness. start by coming in here with a center drill. I did flip that part around so that we could get the uh, that little concave piece on the back side. I think it would be easier to start my hole on a flat surface. That's all we need is a dimple to get going. I believe that's a half inch drill bit that we'll get started with here. We'll just go straight on up to a one inch drill bit. And this will be the final hole size. I may have to slow down just a little bit, we'll see. I think it's gonna be fine. So I think we got it set up for doing my left hand thread. So on this lathe, uh, there is a little selector here that you can select uh, up as right hand threads, down as left hand threads. And basically all that's going to be doing is reversing the, um, the threading screw on here that we engage the half nuts into. So instead of turning in one direction, it just reverses it and turns the other direction. So normally when you're threading, the compound or the whole saddle and everything is going to move in toward the chuck. When we're doing left hand threading, everything's going to move in the opposite direction. So I got all that set up. I've got my boring bar set up. We're set on eight threads per inch. So we're going to come over here, touch off and uh, do a scratch pass, go in there and measure, make sure we're on eight threads. And then we're going to cut these threads on the internal. Right, so I'm going to come inside here. Apologize, my head may get in the way. We got a, a real light scratch pass going there. I'm going to zero my compound. So again, when we engage our half nut, I'm just going to engage it here just so you can see. Everything is moving away. So what we're going to have to do is go inside. We'll go in. We're going to go all the way through. I'm going to bring it back to zero. 
and we will engage our half nuts and uh, confirm that thread. All right. We'll move this out of the way. Got my thread pitch gauge here. I'll go on the inside and it's on eight threads. So we're good there. All right, so uh, hopefully you guys can see everything here. I got my indicator set up again on the dashboard uh, so I can see how deep I'm going. Just like I explained in the last episode, we got it on this uh, rather than reading it off of the, the dial because it is on the hypotenuse and uh, we wanna make sure we're getting the right measurement there. So, you know, we're zeroed out. Uh, the compound is set at a 14 degree angle going this way. Our cutting edge is this edge right here. So we've got the compound set so that it's pulling out in that angle. So uh, just like we would, it's, it's backwards from uh, regular threading. So we're gonna go in, we'll go to the back, take it back to zero on the, the dial. And uh, I'm gonna give me a couple of thousandths here. We'll just make about a five thousandths pass and start our threading. Let's do it. So uh, you can't see my thread dial, but uh, we're gonna wait for that to come around to a number. We'll engage and go through. Okay. In to the back, go back to zero on my dial, and we'll go another 5,000 feet. to pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm used to when I'm threading, moving my cutter out this way and I'm having to make sure I go the right direction each time. It's just a habit, uh, but hopefully we won't screw up. do a scratch pass just to clean up afterwards. All right, we're just going to go right back down the same path. This will just clean up anything in there. And there 
there we go. Our internal threads should be the specs. So uh, I'm gonna get in there with my thread bit dial or thread gauge, pitch gauge, just to verify. Uh, but we should be good to go. All right, we got this nut here all finished up. Internal Acme threads, eight threads per inch, left hand. So we got the shaft in here now. We're getting this ready to start cutting the, uh, the external threads on it. But before we do, we got to finish this little end. So this needs to be faced off. And again, what does that go in? Uh, 550 thousandths deep and make it a uh, 0.875 in diameter. So um, let's go ahead and get that cut out. Put a center in there. We got to drill a number seven hole for a quarter twenty tapped hole. Go ahead and drill that hole. And then we're going to come back in with the center and uh, just make sure we've got a good, nice center in there to support this for uh, doing our threading. Scratching on a line there to 550,000 feet. feeds a little coarse. Let me uh, change that around. Let's try this. Seven five. Go ahead and clean up that shoulder. And we'll chamfer our edges just to break those corners. got our shoulder cut. Let's uh, set it up for threading. I've got everything set up now hopefully to go ahead and cut these left hand threads. Uh, so again uh, we're going to be moving in this direction so we'll basically come in and start here on this end and cut out rather than cutting in toward the headstock. So again because we're cutting in that direction I have again swiveled my my part around here my, my, my compound to 14 degrees in this direction so we'll be cutting on that 
front edge up there. As I feed in, I'm feeding in at that 14 and a half degree angle uh, on that cutter. So we're ready to go here, I think. Uh, we were set up over here for eight. Uh, I'm gonna come in here. I'm just gonna come in here on the very end, barely touch off, make a scratch pass, and uh, just make sure we're on eight. And then we'll go in here and start cutting some threads. So let's do it. Okay, on zero there. Just gonna bring this in until it barely touches. Now I've noticed that uh, we've got a little bit of run out in our shaft. Uh, it's just got run out in the shaft. It's not a perfectly straight shaft. It gets a little bit worse down in here, but I think it's gonna be all right. We'll just work our way through it. Down here on the end, it's only touching right now. Of course, I'm barely just touching it, but I'm just confirming eight threads per inch and we are on eight threads per inch. So that's good. Um, I want to go ahead, while I got that zero, set my indicator up. So again, I'll have a dashboard here to work off of. I think I'll put it on this side this time. So now I can come out. We'll move down here to the place we're gonna start. And I've got a mark. He wants a three inch gap here in the center. And uh, we're gonna just come in on the same mark each time and we'll uh, we'll start right there. And it's gonna be a little bit easier to start in a given spot than trying to stop in a given spot going the other way. This is actually a little bit easier threading in this direction. So let's, uh, let's start cutting some threads. All right, I think we're ready to start here. I've got my zero on my dial. Uh, we're right here where we wanna start. And I think we'll just go ahead by Tell you what, first thing I want to do is put some oil on this thing. Now right, we got a little lube. We'll go ahead and um, we'll go in about five thousandths deep. We'll wait for our number to come around on the dial. And away we go. up on our spot, put a zero on our dial here, and let's feed in another 5,000, wait for our number to come around on the threading gauge, and let's go.
I will note, you know, I'm only taking a three thousandths depth, but it's taking the whole width of that cut. So you got a forty thousandths wide face in there. When we get down to the bottom, it's going to be seventy two thousandths wide, uh, which is why you get see such a big chip. It's not very thick. It's just a wide chip. All right, we're at fifty thousandths deep. Got about a uh, twenty-one, twenty-two thousandths to go on the depth. But, uh, we're making progress. I think we're going to go to final depth this time. Seventy-one. 72 and a half. Open this up, come in here, it's still a little bit tight and I kind of expected it to be. So uh, we'll take another pass or two on it and uh, get it to where it fits. All right, we're going to come back in here and uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and do about another 3 thousandths pass and uh, we'll try that fit again. It's close. It's not quite there. So uh, let's see where we're at. And uh, get a little lube on here before we engage that. guys we got a left hand one on here where it's working just right so job accomplished so there we go one threaded rod left hand acme 8 on one side right hand acme 8 on the other side so actually this is the left and this is the right hand got a three inch gap in the middle ends turned down to fit up on some bearings and uh, this job is done. I'm gonna pack it up, send it up to Jack Hoyan, and uh, he's gonna be making a big table out of this and using this to expand the leaves on it. So uh, maybe we'll get a chance to share some pictures of that project when it's all complete. Uh, but Jack, thanks, fun little project, uh, nice little distraction, got me out in the shop and actually doing some work uh, using the machines rather than working on my shop here, which seems to be my focus here lately. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Jack. I appreciate the opportunity to do this for you. And I hope everybody enjoyed watching that. If you did, please leave me some thumbs up, leave me some comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you later.